Yo, what is up, you two? Welcome back to the Los Angeles Dodgers franchise. And first things first, the Mariners acquire Gomes from the Indians, and the Indians acquire Nelson Cruz and Steven Vaught here in the Dodgers franchise. So that's a pretty big trade, some big overalls there. But here we had the Los Angeles Dodgers in Wrigley Field facing off against the Chicago Cubs. 44 and 29 the Los Angeles Dodgers are the 15 and 23 Chicago Cubs. You remember last year's NLDS, we had a little bit of a rivalry starting up as Jake Arrieta threw at quite a few of our batters and we ended up sweeping them in three straight games. I don't think the Chicago Cubs like that. And to add worse to these matters, Brett Anderson is the starting pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. We let him go in free agency. We told him he was too injury prone. He couldn't pitch for us. If he if he can't be even be on the field, then how's he gonna pitch for us? But here he is, seven and one with the Cubs. You see Puig Hernandez, Seeger Gonzalez, Turner, Kendrick Van Slyke, and Grundahl with Kershaw on the mound today. Trying to take this to Brett Anderson, but he's had a fantastic year. He's gonna walk Corey Seeger with two outs here to start out the top of the first. He's just been incredible for the Cubs, and he's going to be incredible against the Dodgers here in the first inning, striking out Adrian Gonzalez, his ex-teammate. But here's Clayton Kershaw, just a little bit better than Brett Anderson. He'll never be as big as Clayton Kershaw was at Chicago, when he's at Chicago, not when Kershaw is at Chicago. There's a strikeout of Addison Russell. Kershaw's telling him, you know, I'm better than you, is all Kershaw's trying to say out here in the mound. And I guess we'll find out by the end of this game, but Anthony Rizzo is going to get the first hit of the ball game, and that's going to be in the right field, a single with two down here. But here's Chris Bryant, full count, a ground ball to Howie Kendrick. Fields that one on to first. That's a first inning, only one hit between both teams. 2-2 pitcher, Justin Turner, nobody out. That's a shot into left center field. Dexter Fowler's on the run. He's going to go track that down and catch that one at the warning track. Full count, two down. Van Slyke hits that one deep to center field. Fowler back, catches it at the track once again. Two outs at the track for Dexter Fowler, but we'll head to the bottom of the second. One, two, pitch to Dexter Fowler. Going to get a curveball that just hung up there, and Fowler hits that one to the corner. Van Slyke's going to have to chase that one down out by the vines, and that's going to be thrown in to third base, but a one-out double for Dexter Fowler, so now Kirsch has some trouble. Full count, Ben Zobris, strike three on a very, very nice fastball by Clayton Kershaw up and in, in the zone. Couldn't do much about that. Here's Brett Anderson, 2-1 pitch. Floats that one to left field, but Corey Zegra has more than enough time to go make that catch in left field. Vance Slyke was playing in. Anyhow, 1-2 pitch to Kershaw now. That's going to be our first hit of the ball game. He sends that one into left field. This goes the other way within our first hit against Brett Anderson. 1-1 one, one now to Kike Hernandez. He's going to hit that one in the right field. That one is down out there. That's misplayed by Dexter Fowler. That goes all the way to the wall. Kershaw's rounding third. He's going to get home easily. Kike Hernandez the third. The throw to the plate, and that is going to be an RBI right there for Kike Hernandez. I don't know how they ruled that. I think they believe I believe they ruled that triple. But you'll see right here. That was just an awful play by Dexter Fowler. Made two nice plays at the track last inning, but Kershaw got us a base hit and Kike Hernandez brings him home. Look at that misplay by Dexter Fowler. Now can we bring Kike Hernandez home? Seeger lost that one in the right field, but a nice catch right there by Jason Hayward. But we do get one in the top of the third. Let's go to the bottom of the third. Full count two down here. That's going to be a walk to Addison Russell. Run around first now. Two down, two two pitch. The next better, Chris Bryant. That's going to be strike three on the corner. On the changeup, Chris Bryant sit down. Jorge Soler sit down on the slider now in the bottom of the fourth inning. Kershaw's pitching fantastic. Two one pitch to Dexter Fowler. He's going to line that one in the left field. He's been hitting pretty well against Kershaw so far today, but not doing quite enough for the team. Here's Kike Hernandez. He was scared with that triple last time. Brian Anderson just walks him. So now we have a runner on here. Two down, full count. The runner on the move. Here's Corey Seager. Hits that one in the right field. That's down for a base hit. Kike Hernandez at third base. Runners on the corners now. Two down for Adrian Gonzalez. Full count. Here comes the pitch. Lofted in the left field. That's going to be an easy play out there. And that's going to be out number three. So we can't tack on another run. But we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. 0 2 pitch to Wilson Ramos. Ground ball at the middle. Just gets by Kershaw there at the pitcher's mound. And they do get a two out single there with Ramos. Now full count two down. Jason Hayward, he hits that one in the left field. First and second now with two down. They're starting to get something going. Hopefully they cry, they're trying to cry, scratch, if I could talk, a run across. But right there is Addison Russell just poking that one. Kershaw makes the play, gets off the mound, and throws him out. 
Here's Howie Kendrick with one down in the top of the six. He's going to walk there on a full count. Brett Anderson has a lot of walks today. And here was going to be another one. No, Yasmani Grandal gets a nice pitch to hit there. And he sends it into center field for a base hit. So runners on first and second. Now can we capitalize on this like the Cubs could not? Full count, two down. Clayton Kershaw, a man that you don't really want at the plate. Lofts that one to left field. And that's going to be out number three. Another scoreless inning for us. It's going to take us to the bottom of the sixth inning. Now one-two pitch. Chris Bryant, 82nd pitch of the game sinker way outside don't know what brian's swinging at strike three now full count two down jorge soler he's gonna hit that one in the right field for a base hit the puig i'm actually gonna try to throw him out at first base i don't exactly know what i'm doing but that is going to send us full count two down dexter fowler strike three got a little piece of it but right into yasmani grandal's glove strike three kershaw pitching fantastic you see through six innings it's one to nothing kershaw six innings five hits 7 Ks, 1 walk. Kike Hernandez with the RBI triple and a walk is our best hitter. Here he is up now. Full count. Brett Anderson at about his 107th pitch right there. Strikes out Kike Hernandez. 109th now. 3-1 pitch to Seager. He's going to hit that one in the left center. That one is going to get down in left center field. Seager with the 2-out double. And that maybe we can scratch a run across. Finally, I could get that actually out. We got 2 down runner on second for Gonzalez. And they're actually going to bring Brett Anderson out. That was like his 100th. 110th pitch. He had a very good outing. Six and two thirds. Only one run so far. And really, probably shouldn't have even been a run. Dexter Fowler with a bad play out there. But he is still responsible for the runner at second. But that's going to be a ground ball at second base. So no need to worry about that. As a nice scoop there by Anthony Rizzo at first base. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning. Now Kershaw still out there. 2-2 pitch. Ben Zobers sit down once again. The fastball inside. You're just swinging that air. 2-2. Two, two, two down. Wilson Ramos. You take a high and in fastball as well. Strike three. And Kershaw gets through the seventh. That might be his last inning as he's getting up there in pitches. Right at about 102 pitches. We'll have to see the full count. Two down. Kershaw is back in actually. Ground ball to second base. 109th pitch. Gets it now. He's still going straight. Strong. See how far he can last in this game. 1-2 pitch to Addison Russell. That's going to be an inside fastball strike three. Still going strong. I don't want to take him out, but he's got a lot of pitches. Full count for Jock Peterson. He would get through the eighth, Kershaw would, and we pinched hit for him with Jock Peterson. So that would be the end of his day, eight innings. Oh, apparently I just don't know how to edit because right here is the last pitch for Clayton Kershaw as he is going to get the batter to fly in the center field. That was Anthony Rizzo. You saw Jock Peterson pinched it for him. So now Jock Peterson on first base. 1-1 one, one pitch, Kike Hernandez in the center field. I apologize for that. I must have accidentally just flip-flop those two edits. Um, I do apologize for that. Um, it pro I hope it doesn't happen again. It might, though. 2-2 two, two pitch here to Corey Seager. Get froze on a slider right there. Strike three. That's going to take us to the bottom of the ninth. Kenley Jansen is going to come in to shut the door against the Chicago Cubs. one to nothing. Brett Anderson pitched great. Kershaw pitched a great eight innings with 10 Ks. We'll see if Kenley Jansen can get it out of this for his 25th save and finish this game off here in the bottom of the ninth inning in Wrigley. Full count. Chris Bryant, ball four, runner on base right away here in the bottom of the ninth. 1-1 one, one pitch to the Jorge Soler. Got to get a ground ball. Exactly what we do. Kendrick on the second to Seeger on the first to Gonzalez. That's a big double play. Two down now in the bottom of the ninth inning, and they will bring in a pinch hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He can hit for power, especially against righties, especially against hard-throwing pitchers. One, two, pitch, up and in on the cutter. We're going to go again, two, two, two down, bottom of the ninth. Kenley Jansen, low four-seam fastball. Full count now, Kenley. Can he get the man out and finish this game off with a one to nothing victory? Here's the pitch. Frozen. Strike three. And your Los Angeles Dodgers are going to get a win in Wrigley to start this four-game series against the Chicago Cubs. A big win there. Kershaw, he had a rough start to the season his first two games. But, man, has he came back and pitched his the way he can. An NL MVP type of season so far. As long as he can keep it up. He is, a, I believe, 10-1 now. Yep, 10-1, 8 innings, 5 hits, 1 walk, 10 Ks, no runs. What a day by Kershaw. He is pitching phenomenal. He's got about a sub-2.0 two, sub ERA so far, especially after that game. And he's pitched phenomenal for us all year long after that one game. After the opening day when he got shut out, or when he got blown out. Um, but that is the end of today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. I apologize for that editing once again, and I hope it does not happen again. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and as always, I'm out. Peace.